Hey friend, John McLennan here. And in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to share with you the story about my number one telly, this guitar that you may have seen in some of my YouTube videos. Now, so many of my viewers here on YouTube and students in my programs and community ask about this guitar and they say, John, what model is that? You know, and I get all kinds of uh, comments saying, is that an Ibanez? Is that, you know, what kind of guitar is that? And it's a Fender Tele, but it's not a guitar that you can get from Fender. I did get it from Fender, but I did a lot of serious mods to it to get it where it is today. And I've played a lot of guitars over the years, you know, from 335s to Les Pauls to, I played a Strat for quite a while and really this is where I've ended up as sort of my guitar, my sound, and I can pretty much do anything that I want from this guitar, but it took me a while to get here. If you're enjoying this video and you're a guitar player who wants to learn songs faster, wants to play along with backing tracks, or even jam with other musicians, be sure to pick up my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. It's incredibly useful and it's just one page long. I'm going to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. So let me tell you a little bit about the backstory of this guitar. Now I've been playing Fender guitars since I was 11 years old in my first band. And my wife, who is an amazing singer and bass player and just fantastic musician, we've gigged together a lot over the years, she actually, when we got married, she came up, she lived in San Diego, and she came up to LA where I live, and we live now, and Fender actually was based out of Arizona, okay? So they have a headquarters there, and they were moving out to LA. And so they were gonna have their headquarters here and so they were hiring. And so my wife actually ended up getting a job working at Fender. And that was really cool for me because, you know, she would come home and she would be like, oh, well, like the humbuckers in here, you know, and she would like go off on all this stuff. I'd be like, wow, like, you know more about the guitars than I do. And so what happened is when she started there, they have this thing called an employee sale, and this is only available to people that work there. And so the way it works is they do a raffle, basically, it's like a random drawing, and they choose you know, your order of all the employees there of when you get to go into the employee sale. Now this guitar was actually featured at the NAMM show and Fender over the years would bring out these incredible guitars that they would bring to the NAMM show. And so something had happened, it ended up getting a little scuff, actually here it is. It's this little scuff at the NAMM show. And so what will happen is it'll end up at the employee sale. They're like, we can't sell this anymore. And so they basically sell it to the employees that work there. So what Fender does is they actually randomly select, you know, people to go into the employee sale and it's not everyone at once. So if, if you get to go in later, you might miss some of the gear. Some of the good stuff might have been bought right away by people. But there's, there's a lot of great gear there. And so my wife had gotten, it starts at 9 a.m. And she called me and she's like, guess what? I'm 9 a.m., like the first slot. And this was when she just started working there. I didn't have, you know, I had some Fender guitars, but I'm like, okay, this is an awesome opportunity for me. And my wife being awesome is like, yeah, like I'll just get it for you. You know, uh, you know, she'll, she's like, I don't need another instrument or whatever, I'll get it for John. And she's like, I'm at 9 a.m. And I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. You have the best spot, like I'm so excited. Now I couldn't go because I didn't actually work at Fender. So she was calling me, you know, saying, oh, they have this guitar, they have this guitar, you know, and, and so she went, she goes to go at 9 a.m. and then her boss 
uh, something had come up where she actually had to go to the factory that day. So Fender has like the Hollywood office and then they have like the factory where they make the guitars in Corona. And she goes, guess what? Like I got to go to the factory cause she had to meet Good Day LA there and they were doing some story. And she's like, I, I, I'm now gonna be last, you know? So instead of the first to go into the employee sale, she's like, I'm now last. And I'm like, oh, bummer, you know? So. So I, you know, a few days went by and then all of a sudden she calls me and she's like, guess what? She's like, good day LA canceled. So I get to go back to first and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So anyway, she goes in to the employee sale at 9 a.m. and there were some other colleagues that went in at the same time as her. And there was this girl who was wanting to learn guitar. She didn't really play and she saw this guitar, this Fender, it's a custom shop. Like this is, you know, some of Fender's top of the line guitars. So it's not like getting a Squire, even though Squires are amazing, this is like a premium guitar to have, you know, as a beginner. And so she was looking at it and my wife, she just said straight up, she's like, well, are you gonna buy it? Cause if not, I'm gonna buy it. And her colleague was like, ah, you know, I don't. she wanted to buy it. And then she's like, you know what? I'm not going to buy it. So my wife's like, great, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and so my wife bought it and I never even got to play the guitar. And I talked about this in a previous video. I had always told my wife, don't, don't buy me a guitar because it's a very specific thing. You know, if she went out and spent a lot of money and, and bought a guitar for me, and then I pick it up and I'm like, ah, oh, the neck isn't right, or oh, this just this doesn't have the sound that I want, or it doesn't feel right. Like that's kind of a hard thing because it's, I'm one, I'm super picky and it's very specific. You know, it's specific to my hands and how it feels. And so I didn't get a chance to play it but she had said, hey, I got this guitar. She goes, why don't you come down and pick it up? So it was like later that afternoon and I went down at like three o'clock and this was like when she had just started at Fender and so I went down and like got to meet everyone there and everyone was so happy because so many people that day had gotten a guitar and everyone was like, whoa, John, like, you know, your wife just grabbed one of the best best ones you can get. And so I came down and I pulled it out of the case and I was like, oh my God, this has a really fat neck on it. It's got a bird's eye maple neck. It's a beautiful neck. You know, it's got the, the double binding, which I think is a real classic look. I love sunburst personally. I know again, that is a classic look, but I, I just love it. I have a lot of sunburst guitars. And so I went down and I played the neck and I was like, God, this is a, a phenomenal guitar. And I actually had a gig that night and it was pouring rain. My studio, actually, there was water leaking into my studio. So I had this guitar, I rushed back home and like saw my studio was flooded. I put all these towels down and I went to a gig. I had to go to a gig and I pulled this guitar out. I, I didn't really even plug it in until I got to the gig and I plugged it in and I played like the best I'd played in a while that night because I was just so inspired. And the frets were so nice and everything about this guitar was just, it was so much attention to detail and it just felt amazing to play. So I kept it as is for a while and then later what I did was really mod it out. So I actually cut this guitar open and added two pickups. Well, I added one middle pickup and then I swapped out the neck pickup for actually a Seymour Duncan. This is a mini humbucker. And then this is also a Seymour Duncan. I think it's called the Hot Stack, just their middle strat pickup. And I did some mods, added some switching in here and was able to get a ton of sounds out of this guitar. <laughs> And actually the girl that was gonna buy this guitar ended up sharing on her Instagram later. She posted the one that got away and posted a picture of this guitar. But I'm so glad that I was able to pick it up and I could share this with you. Now the other thing about this guitar is I had a friend, his name's Eric Gorsh, who, who modded this out for me. He actually made this custom pick guard. And that's why a lot of times, you know, I'll have people commenting on YouTube, is that an Ibanez? Is that a, you know, just kind of a random brand? But it is, it is a Fender, but this is all a custom design.
So hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below and let me know what gear you're using. And don't forget to grab my free fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five scales and the five chords that I use to map out the entire fretboard. It's so useful if you wanna have a system for learning the knack, you wanna play your favorite songs or jam along with friends. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. Now for more gear videos, check out this video next.